Alright guys, hello and in the last video we implemented uh, how to edit uh, our values in database. So in this video we are gonna delete the value uh, from our database, right? So everything is uh, uh, same. Uh, we have passed our ID from our recycler view adapter to edit class, uh, edit activity class and we are gonna implement delete functionality in the same class as well. So to do that, we will need another button uh, to delete it. So I'm gonna name it delete underscore button, right? And let's name it delete. Now go to edit activity. We take another button, but and delete and button underscore delay will be delete button and on click method call and on click method button underscore delete dot set and click listener new on click listener now I'm gonna actually minimize this uh, method here and we'll need this ID as well in this function so we are gonna we don't need any other values name and email we just need id so let's create a method delete user and we'll pass id inside it and let's create a function of delete user and you know uh, everything is uh, the same so i'm gonna copy everything from here uh, from update values and I'm gonna paste it in delete user right so URL will be uh, I'm gonna make an API call delete user so this will be the URL and we don't need this anymore and make sure you make this string final right so everything is uh, okay now let's go back to our text editor and make an api for this and it will be delete user dot php now open a php block and include database from uh, file db.php and we're getting id in post so let's make id equals to dollar underscore post id now we call query equals to delete from user where id equals to dollar id right now dollar result equals to my sqli underscore query connection variable and query variable if dollar result echo data deleted as echo error occurred right so save this file and that's it you don't need to do anything else uh, response i'm gonna make it response underscore delete error underscore delete so let's run our application and see if we can delete our user or not all right to delete our user i'm gonna add a new user uh, abc123 at red gmail.com will be the email and name will be abc right submit and let's see data and i'm gonna delete this abc uh guy here so click on that and delete so let's see if it was deleted or not no no it is not deleted so let's see what our locket says about it
right so response delete is giving us an error so what is error something's wrong with our api here so syntax runners unexpected id on line 5 so let's go all right unexpected id so somehow this id value is not coming uh, from our user side right so what i meant is that this thing is being empty so let's let's check let's toast it first and see if uh, uh, let's actually uh, log this value inside our response or uh, url right let's log a url instead of response no let, let's skip response and pass url with it and run our application to debug uh, what is happening and i'm also gonna echo our query here echo dollar query right so data this and delete all right it's giving us the same error and now open this url and see what is happening or syntax error unexpected id basically this id is null giving us a null value and that's why this error is being okay so we have to log our id let's say id and id let's log and see if our ID is being passed or not. Right, see data click on the user delete and go to id id equals to 2 so our id is being passed but somehow we are not getting the response uh, let's echo dollar id here and in browser let's see still we are not getting any anything dollar id equals to post id all right let's stack our sql delete yeah it's Rest syntax, uh, but still, let's copy this and paste it where id equals to dollar id and see if it's working now or not. Still, no, nothing. Click on it, delete, and still nothing. I don't know why it's happening. Can we delete this one? No. Okay, let's copy the error. 
let's copy it and google it first what google have to say about it stack overflow always mm. all right no it's not helping this guy is commenting so we don't need this all right uh, it's my bad it's a semicolon mistake so <laughs> it's a silly mistake so if semicolon was missing so let's see let's go to our application and click on the user and go to android studio first before clicking this <clears throat> delete and as you can see our user is deleted so that was a silly mistake but that's how you learn programming right so this is how you delete data from your uh, android app and your mysql database so basically this is all uh, what you need to know about android uh, if anything is missing you can tell me in the comments and if anything you want to learn uh, in particular about android can go down and comment and tell me what you learn uh, what you want to learn right and, then, and as we can see at the last time let me show you in the database we have only one value so this is how to delete uh, you delete the data from database using volley so that's it for this video uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye